So what is an octave? People have asked for that, so I'll try and explain it. Let's see if you play the C major scale. You start on the note C. And you end here. This is the eighth note of the scale. It is the octave. It's the same note as the first one. But it's one octave higher. So these octaves can sound really nice when you play and improvise. So the most common way to play these would be you have, in this case, we're starting the, the bass root note here on the third fret on the A string, which is C. In order to find the, the C octave, we go two frets up and play the G string. There we have the octave. Now this shape is then movable. The trick is to not have the D string ring in between. So you can try and mute the D string with the index finger by having it touch a little bit on the on the D string. And uh, Wes Montgomery used this technique to a large extent in his playing. He would use a thumb and then move the shape along. But you can also switch now to have the bass note on the low E string. The shape is the same. And it's a matter of preference if you want to use the pinky or not. Depends on your shape of your hand and how stretchy your fingers are. Now if you want to go to the next set of strings, starting on the D string, and then play the B string, you need to move the shape a little bit so that uh, the, the octave is on the B string is one fret over, like this, because of the way the guitar is tuned. So, so here I'll play C major scale with octaves. easy when you use your thumb. You can also use this technique of using one of the fingers, which is what I use quite a bit in my plane. Usually the ring finger here is either see I play one note and then the next one right after. Do da do da do da do da becomes a phrasing, or I could play, uh, pick them both at the same time. The first note I'm picking down, and the uh, next note here I'm pulling up like this. And you can slide this up and down, make these cool sounds. See, I'm not using my can at all. See, the sound is a little different if I use this technique with uh, the ring finger and the pick. Thumb, it sounds a little different. That's using the thumb, using the the ring finger and the pick. It's a little snapper sound. difficulty with the thumb is you really need to mute that string in between and that's again use your index finger to just barely touch it so I'm, I'm actually 
the thumb goes over those th three strings here. But the middle one is muted with my index finger here. So in a way that this technique is easier because you don't have to worry as much about because that, you, that string in between you're actually not touching. But again, it has a different sound. Now, another way you can play the octave is to, instead of going, you could do this as I showed in the beginning. But it's not as easy to finger. For most people anyway, I think. Uh, so you have here two strings in between. Instead of having the, the top no two uh, two frets above and the string in between in here the D string you would do the opposite um, in that you have uh, two frets down from this root note and you have two strings in between but it's good to know in case you ever need to use that that octave that way, you have your finger handy, you can do that. There you go, octaves.